On July 13, 2022, in Glendale, Wisconsin, chaos erupted during a routine traffic stop. An officer noticed a speedster racing at 50 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour zone. Lights flashed, the chase was on, and the vehicle appeared to not stop. Another officer ahead was advised of the pursuit and successfully deployed stop sticks on the vehicle. It's running. It's running. The vehicle eventually lost one of its driver's side tires and became disabled, resulting in four suspects fleeing on foot across the interstate. As the suspects fled, several items fell from the vehicle, including a loaded weapon and several bills of money scattered across the traffic lanes. Crossing the beer line bridge, lots of debris coming from that car, and it looks like they're pulling over the bullet. Walking. Stop! Stop! They're bailing off the freeway! They're bailing off the freeway! All the all occupants are running! They're all teenagers, they all went uh, eastbound. Eastbound off the freeway, they hopped off the freeway. The suspects, identified as a 19-year-old, an 18-year-old named Tylen Parker, and two 17-year-olds were apprehended. He's still there. He's coming back this way. Show me your hands. Put your hands up right now. Walk towards me. All right, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, don't do that to me. Come on. We're just the one. Um, what body are they? Four, five, two. You want one additional search? Is he good? Any injuries on you, man? Do you need an ambulance? Do you need an ambulance? No, I just need to Okay. Gray sweater, black pants. Just have a seat. Catch your breath. We'll get you back to the station, okay? Black shoes, he was armed. Thailand, the 18-year-old driver, had a suspended license and two active warrants, one for weapon possession and another for robbing a financial institution. You were driving then? He's running back. Uh, going to stop through the What'd you take off for? Right here. Hey, what's your girl's name? Um, what day you buy her presents? All right, we got another one in custody. Yeah, um, oh, so you were driving her car? Yeah. Yeah. And what is it? Water. What do you want me to tell her? Just tell her come get her car. Right, what are you running for? You got you got you got your warrants or what? Yeah. All right. No big deal. How old are you? Uh, right. What's your last name? Parker. One of the subjects Parker. Really what's your first? Tylen. T y l a n d. T y l a n d. Yeah. Girlfriend to let her know come get her car. What do you wanted for though? You said you got warrants or something? Yeah. yeah. For what? Like kind of, for what? Uh, robbery of an institution. Institution. Bank? Yeah. When is that? Across from the holiday in How'd they idea? So far, I copy. I just want to make sure they can get on to the refrain. Can you that, please? Okay. I've never been to court for it. Oh, uh, so you know you got warrants for it, though? Okay. Is that more? Further investigation revealed an additional weapon and 25 grams of an illicit substance. James Brooks Adams, the 19 year old, received a citation for resistance due to limited involvement in the pursuit. One 17-year-old faced charges for resisting and carrying without a permit, while the other was charged with resisting, carrying without a permit, and possession of THC while armed. As for Thailand, he faced serious charges including felony fleeing, looting an officer, and misdemeanor bail jumping, with a hefty $10,000 cash bond. On June 6, 2023, around 11.50 p.m., Dayton police encountered a gray Chrysler 300 near Stewart Street in Hughes Place. Video footage reveals the Chrysler backing into another cruiser as it pulls up behind the car. The vehicle then proceeds forward, running over a curb and traversing through an apartment complex courtyard where multiple people are outside. Two officers on foot attempt to disable the car's tires, and the driver continues to evade them, even as one officer draws his service weapon. About a minute later, Another police crew locates the fleeing driver. The ensuing chase lasted approximately three minutes, concluding with an officer performing a pit maneuver to spin the vehicle.
got it. I got it. So that's going to be pursuit of that vehicle, westbound on Stewart Street. A woman jumps out of the car and runs with her hands up. The driver eventually complies with the officer's commands and steps out with his hands raised. To right here, right here, to my, turn around, turn around, turn around. Police identify him as 45-year-old Dally Brown, and he is arrested for failure to comply, felonious assault on a police officer, and obstructing official business. Additionally, he is cited for driving under suspension and window tint. The female passenger is unharmed and faces no charges. On Tuesday, August 8, 2023, around 1 p.m., a flock license plate reader generated an alert identifying a vehicle with a stolen license plate. Responding officers quickly located the suspect vehicle, a gray 2024 Dodge Durango, and verified the information provided by the LPR. Upon seeing marked patrol cars, the suspect attempted to evade capture, accelerating and actively avoiding law enforcement. During the pursuit, the suspect's vehicle collided with a marked police car, disabling the police vehicle and causing damage to the suspect's car. A pit maneuver executed by an officer brought the suspect vehicle to a stop on the road. Subsequently, five suspects fled the vehicle, leading officers to pursue them on foot. Officers arrested one suspect immediately, and another was taken into custody while attempting to escape in a secondary vehicle. Did they go across? Yeah. Uh, we're all around so I can stand you up, right? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Alright. We're all around. Sure. We're gonna stand you up, alright? Get on. Get on one knee so we can stand you up. What's that? However, three suspects managed to evade capture on foot. Video footage obtained later revealed that one of the fleeing suspects was armed. This armed suspect was apprehended and his weapon was recovered. Further investigation revealed that the stolen vehicle had been taken from the Jefferson Avenue assembly plant in Detroit approximately two weeks prior. A search of the vehicle led to the discovery of a weapon with an extended 30-round magazine reported as stolen. Currently, three suspects remain at large following the pursuit. On February 20th, just before 11 p.m., 
Doña Ana County Sheriff's Deputy Abel Rodriguez conducted a traffic stop at the intersection of Macomb Street and Red Sun Drive in Chaparral. The driver of the stopped vehicle, a 1999 Cadillac, was identified as 26-year-old Roberto Garcia, who had an outstanding warrant from Otero County. Upon approaching Garcia, Deputy Rodriguez requested him to exit the vehicle, but Garcia refused. Okay. Uh, you can take the car home. That's fine. Okay. Oh, please, sir. Take the car home. Let's do this first, okay? Subsequently, when the deputy attempted to physically remove Garcia from the car, Garcia put the vehicle in drive and started driving away, with Deputy Rodriguez still inside the vehicle. In an effort to stop Garcia, Deputy Rodriguez struck him on the head with a flashlight and ordered him to stop the car. Okay, well then get out of the car then. Come on. If you're not going to get... <laughs> After driving approximately 500 feet from the initial traffic stop, Garcia eventually stopped the vehicle, allowing authorities to take him into custody. Fortunately, Deputy Rodriguez escaped any harm during the incident. On July 13, 2023, Deputy Ricketts observed a vehicle being driven by 19-year-old Jeremiah Lewis on Northeast Jacksonville Road. The vehicle displayed fresh body damage and was traveling northbound in the southbound lane. Upon activating his emergency lights to initiate a traffic stop, Deputy Ricketts witnessed the vehicle making a rapid U-turn and fleeing at a high speed. A pursuit ensued, during which Lewis continued to drive recklessly, causing property damage by hitting a light pole and a stop sign. Southbound 25,000. Southbound 24. 10-4, fifth field. Come on, and we're uh, westbound 14th Street. We're the better. 10-4, westbound 14th Street. Amid the pursuit, a juvenile passenger in the back seat attempted to open the vehicle door, desperately trying to stop Lewis. Following a successful PIT maneuver, the pursuit concluded in the 1600 block of NE 32nd Avenue. Despite Lewis's attempt to flee, he was quickly apprehended. We are back. Eastbound on 14th Street. 10-4, eastbound on 14th. Which point is that? Alright, he's lost the fire. He's going to work. 10-4, lost the fire. On 32nd Avenue. 10-4 on 32nd Avenue. I can't get him in the sights. You're looking at these lives that you done put in jeopardy, your life that you put in jeopardy. Now you got charges. Now you're over here in Marion. It ain't going to be easy to get up out of Marion. I know. It ain't. 
You went in the wrong county. The wrong. Investigation revealed that Lewis had six juvenile passengers in the vehicle, ranging in age from 12 to 16 years old. The juveniles informed deputies that they were trying to convince Lewis to stop, but he refused and prevented them from leaving the vehicle. All parents of the juvenile victims confirmed that Lewis did not have permission to take the children from their residences. Additionally, it was discovered that the vehicle Lewis was driving had been stolen from his grandmother. Lewis faces multiple charges, including aggravated fleeing or attempting to elude with injury or damage, false imprisonment of a child under 13 years of age, five counts of false imprisonment, six counts of child abuse, five counts of interference with child custody, leaving the scene of a crash with property damage, resisting an officer without violence, and grand theft of a motor vehicle. He is currently held at the Marion County Jail on a $51,000 bond. A York Regional Police officer from the Traffic Enforcement Unit got harmed when a car collided with the back of a stopped police cruiser in Richmond Hill. The incident occurred at 2.45 p.m. on Highway 7 east of Hunters Point Drive. The officer was inside an unmarked cruiser with emergency lights activated, having stopped another vehicle. A Honda CRV struck the police cruiser from behind, causing it to collide with an Audi Q5 that was initially stopped by the officer. All three drivers, including the police officer, were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries and have since been released. The collision led to the closure of Highway 7 in both directions from Bathurst Street to Yonge Street for several hours. Sergeant Andy Pattenden emphasized the legal requirement for drivers to slow down and pass with caution when approaching an emergency vehicle or a tow truck with its amber lights flashing. On April 20th, 2023, police responded to a 911 call regarding an incident involving 41-year-old John Nutt and his passenger. Officer Laquin Jett of the Pemberton Township Police Department attempted to stop the motorcycle, ridden by Nutt, in connection with the reported incident. Pursuit ensued, leading to a collision between the motorcycle and an uninvolved minivan on County Route 687 West, near the intersection with Davis Street. His passenger, whose identity is being withheld, suffered serious injuries and was airlifted to Cooper University Hospital in critical condition. Subsequently, the passenger was released from the hospital. Fortunately, the two occupants of the minivan declined medical treatment. On Monday afternoon, a carjacking suspect led Seattle police on a chase through the Finney Ridge neighborhood, resulting in a crash. The incident began around 3 p.m. near North 44th Street and Woodland Park Ave North, where the suspect reportedly stole a car from a woman, hit her with her own vehicle, and fled the scene. Police responded promptly and located the stolen car, initiating a pursuit. Yeah, we're westbound. From Meridian, his hood is open, driving westbound speed is... <laughs> During the chase, the stolen vehicle rammed into two patrol cars. The pursuit concluded with a crash in the area of North 68th Street and Dayton Avenue North. The exact details of what the stolen car crashed into remain unknown. Law enforcement detained the driver at the crash scene and witnesses at the Fremont scene identified the individual as the carjacker. The injured woman was taken to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. As a result of the incident, North 68th Street was temporarily closed between Finney Avenue North and Fremont Avenue North. Detectives are actively investigating the case. Demarcus Deshaun Payton, wanted on several charges, including armed burglary, grand theft of a motor vehicle, petite theft, and possession of a deadly weapon 
chose to evade arrest when confronted by the police. Opting for a high-stakes escape in his car, a pursuit ensued. A helicopter joined the operation, guiding officers on his whereabouts. After a prolonged chase, DeMarcus abandoned his vehicle and attempted to escape on foot. However, his run was short-lived as an officer with a K-9 unit swiftly apprehended him, bringing an end to his attempted getaway. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, a lengthy pursuit unfolded as officers attempted to stop an individual for a traffic violation. Right hand where it is. Next vehicle coming up, shut it down. Open. 
open the door from the outside. Those hands back up. Step out with both your hands up, facing away from us. Keep your right hand where it is and unbuckle your seatbelt with your left. Face away from us. Put your phone down on top of the car. Hands up. And the vehicle stop. Stop right there. No more vehicle stop. Listen very closely. From the top of your shirt, grab your collar and show your waistband from the top of your shirt. Spin around. Keep going. Keep going. Now stop. Come on around the knee, go around. Initially evading the authorities, the person eventually chose to surrender and complied with the officer's commands, leading to their eventual arrest. On August 26, 2021 in Castle Hills, Texas, officers swiftly responded to a report of a mail thief. Upon arrival, they apprehended the suspect and recovered all the stolen mail from his car. You live at? Where your friend live at? You keep telling your friend, what's the street your friend live on in here? Well, I have not, one of my, yeah. One of your, what are you doing with your friend's mail in here? He was in my car. He was in your car, he left his mail in there? Chaddington, Ann Chaddington. Who, you know anybody there? Ann Chaddington, you know anybody there, your friend? I don't know what you Oh, you know where Chaddington is at, right? I don't know what the name is. Okay, know. okay. So your friend left all his mail in here? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I just pulled in here. I understand, we just got this call. Here uh, Lock Haven. You know anybody live there? I don't know the street name. You don't? No. Go ahead and put him in, I'll call him. They mean gonna be arrested for mail theft. You looking at bag right there? In the front seat? That bag in the front seat, right there, that, that camouflage. Oh my god. We got some people's team checks. The individual with a history of mail theft was arrested for the repeated offense. In Bexar County, Texas, officers discovered a car parked on the side of the road with both the driver and passenger unconscious. Sergeant Davila, positioned behind the suspect's car, and Officer Johnson, in front, approached to remove them. During the interaction, the passenger attempted to dispose of methamphetamine by placing it in a drink container. Get your hand out of your pocket. Okay. Get out of the car. Yep, he's jumping. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out. Get out of the car. Thrown out on the floor. Thrown out. I need an EMS. Okay, I'll get you EMS. But we're going to detain you first. Okay, I got to detain you first. Come on. The quicker we get this done, the quicker I get you EMS, all right? I'll start EMS. Please. Give me your arm. Give me your arm. I'm just as loud as We will get you EMS. 
Please. The quicker you allow me to detain you, though, the quicker I can get you medical help. No, sir, I'm my first one to die. I'm going to die, sir. I need medical attention. Both suspects were detained, with one claiming to have ingested meth crystals. The passenger, in a futile attempt, pretended to vomit and then headbutted the evidence off the car roof. Because your friend just rolled into our car. Are you overdosing on what? Okay. Yeah, I saw it. Um, he's saying he needs EMS for his heart. He's got a torn rotator cuff. And now his legs don't work. He's also You got any weapons on you? Sure. So, when you said ingested, you smoke it or did you try to swallow some? Okay. Did Despite their efforts, officers arrested both suspects and transported them to jail. In a daring move, a driver took action by jumping a car over a concrete median, causing damage and triggering a pursuit. The chase continued as the driver switched to a white SUV, closely pursued by the police. He's doing service through traffic there. Oh, crash, crash. crash. Fail, fail, fail. The intensity of the pursuit took an unexpected turn when the SUV's driver suddenly abandoned the vehicle and attempted to flee on foot. Undeterred, the police officers weren't willing to let the suspect escape. They maintained their pursuit, apprehending both the driver and his accomplice, bringing the wild run to an official end. On June 8, 2022, police officers were involved in a high-stakes chase. The driver continued to drive recklessly, disregarding speed limits and putting others' lives at risk instead of coming to a halt. The chase concluded when the car crashed into another vehicle on the road and the driver continued to escape on foot. In Flagler County, Florida, officers on routine patrol detected a vehicle emitting a distinct marijuana odor. Their vigilance led to a follow-up when the vehicle came to a stop at a gas station. Upon questioning, the driver failed to produce a medical marijuana card. Subsequent inspection of the vehicle uncovered a substantial quantity of marijuana. Do you have a medical marijuana card? No, One of the time you smoked in your vehicle. Okay, is there any weed left in the vehicle currently? Okay. So you want to tell me what this is? Huh? What? Is that what you came up here for? No. Just coincidence? Just came over to my, my brother's here. Who's your brother? My Okay. So, and that's not, you know, personal use, obviously. 
I mean, I stay all the way over here. So I don't stay all the way over here, but I'm saying, like, I got, you know, I came with a good amount, so that way I don't have to keep going back. Yeah. So you, so you're saying that you carry that much money just so you don't have to keep re-upping all the time? Just go once in, once in a good morning. You're scoring. I'm just letting you know now, straight up, you're going to go to jail, obviously, yeah. for the weed. The driver was promptly arrested and charged for the illicit possession, underscoring the importance of the officer's keen observation during routine patrols. On July 31st, 2022, K-9 Corporal Bats spotted a stolen vehicle near Southeast 32nd Street and Southeast 3rd Avenue. Choosing to follow the vehicle while waiting for backup, K-9 Corporal Bats observed the driver, Matthew Gabbard, engaging in evasive and high-speed driving maneuvers. An attempt was made to conduct a traffic stop with emergency lights and sirens, but Gebert refused to pull over, initiating a high-speed chase. Throughout the pursuit, Gebert ran numerous red lights and stop signs exhibiting reckless behavior. Multiple units, 51. 651, I'm on 17th Street, Bitrate, Crossover 441. Confirming, we're just following now. Kilo 5420, that's 10 4 Haven't put him up. He's just starting to uh, pick up speed. We're doing 50 and a 35 uh, northbound coming up on 17th Street. Be 1031. Southbound crossing over 17th Street into the uh, industrial area. 104, 1031, southbound 17th Street. Sorry, 12th Avenue southbound. And we're going to be turning eastbound southwest 20th Street. I'm going to be behind you, love. 104. Back out to 7th Avenue. He's going to go back north on 7th Avenue. 10 north on 7th Avenue. So we're heading back towards the 17th Street overpass. Um, he'll either turn back off or he might head up towards Highway 200. There's no other traffic at this time. 10 17th Street on the overpass. No traffic at this time. Over Highway 200, continuing northbound Southwest 10th Avenue. Ten four northbound Southwest 10th Avenue. No other traffic. Westbound Southwest Third Street. Put up on MLK. Ten four. Over Eventually, he decided to abandon the vehicle and flee on foot. K-9, Jax was deployed, and Gabert was apprehended after a brief foot pursuit. Driver's bailing. 24, driver bailing. Sheriff's Office, K-9, you're under arrest! You're under release of zone! Pocket! Pocket! Show me your hands! Let me see your hands! Show me your hands! Twenty-six eighty-two. The miracle point six two one. Here, one Mary K nine. Looks like they're uh, bringing a ten fifteen northbound back towards the vehicle. Yeah, 6400 block of Southeast Baseline Road, quarter 28, Lima, Alpha Alpha, Kilo 48, on a silver. Subsequent investigation revealed Gabbert's possession of drug paraphernalia and cocaine. Additionally, he was found to have a suspended driver's license and was on active felony probation. 
On the police dashboard camera footage, law enforcement engaged in a pursuit with an individual exhibiting advanced skills in high-speed driving. The incident commenced when the police observed a minivan displaying suspicious behavior, and as the driver sought to evade the authorities, the minivan maneuvered through city streets and highways at remarkable speeds. The driver demonstrated exceptional stunt driving skills, executing sharp turns and deftly weaving through traffic. The pursuit spanned urban and suburban areas, with the driver attempting audacious moves to outpace the law. The officers, determined to bring the chase to an end, eventually witnessed the suspect halting, exiting his car, and surrendering to the police. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Face down on the ground now! Subsequently, the police arrested the individual, placing him in custody. On January 10, 2022, Officer Muse demonstrated exceptional vigilance when he identified a stolen vehicle through a flock LPR notification. The car, reported stolen from Tennessee, triggered a swift response from law enforcement. Officer Muse initiated a traffic stop, but the driver chose to evade arrest, leading to a pursuit through Riverside Park. Despite the attempts to escape, Officer Muse executed a pit maneuver near Interstate 20, momentarily halting the fleeing vehicle. However, the driver managed to regain control and continued attempting to flee. Recognizing the severity of the situation, Officer McConnell joined the pursuit. After a second PT maneuver, the vehicle was disabled, allowing officers to apprehend both the driver and the passenger. Subsequent investigations revealed that the duo was wanted for murder by the Nashville Metro Police Department. The 60-year-old owner of the stolen car had tragically been shot and killed on January 9, 2022. Additionally, both suspects were found to be armed with weapons believed to have been used in the commission of the murder. On August 15, 2022, in Franklin County, officers spotted a stolen car being driven by a teenager. Responding swiftly, the officers attempted to stop the stolen vehicle by strategically blocking its path. In a desperate attempt to evade capture, the teen resorted to ramming the police cruiser. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. It's a Turkey Hill checkup. On the air. Despite the reckless effort, the police successfully thwarted the escape and apprehended the teen. In Bronx, New York, an Uber driver found himself in trouble when two passengers entered his car. The man took an unusual spot in the front seat while his accomplice sat in the back. Victoria? Yo, this is a nice, this is a nice car you got here. Oh, no, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, usually I don't let people send her. The man in the front demanded the driver's wallet, mobile phone, and all his belongings. Meanwhile, the woman in the back seat was busy stealing items from the car. Pockets, wallet, I need that. Hey, I need that. Chill. I need that. No, don't chill, even, chill, yeah, chill. feel me? Make, make, matter, make sure this idea is in here, you feel me? Because let you try to do anything like the cards, it's over. Yo, come on, bro. You don't even got to do good? The good? The idea is in here? Yeah, right, bro. Bet, 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 go. After grabbing what they wanted, they quickly left the vehicle, leaving the Uber driver in shock. A passenger requested a pool ride. The driver, engrossed in typing a message on his phone, picked up the passenger. Meanwhile, another passenger called for a ride. Further complicating the situation, tensions peaked when the driver requested the initial passenger to exit the car to make room for the new arrival. 
Do you can't so I can't do anything. You just need to leave the car. No, I'm not gonna leave the car. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh my god. I need help. Frustrated by this unexpected twist, the initial passenger lashed out, throwing an object at the window, shattering it, and leaving the driver in shock and fear. In the lively streets of Pembroke Park, a tense situation played out inside an Uber. Upon reaching the destination, the driver politely requested the passenger to exit the car. However, the passenger resisted, insisting that she wasn't at the correct destination. The driver, displaying the app that indicated the agreed upon destination, grew increasingly frustrated. I have the right to tell you when to get out of my car. I it's am, right now. I don't know where I am. I'm asking you where is my destination if you will kindly point I at where I am. I pulled into your destination. It said here I was. Where my destination is. I don't give a the ride is over! You have been extremely rude, extremely condescending! Uh -huh. Both parties adamantly claim to be in the right, leaving us pondering the true nature of the situation. On a regular day, an ex-military Uber driver found himself facing an attempted armed robbery. As he prepared to start the ride with his passenger, an unwelcome guest entered the car, demanding the driver's wallet. Unfazed, the driver calmly refused, even when faced with the threat of a weapon. On the other side. Austin, how you doing? Please be careful with your beverage. Oh, absolutely, just some tea. Yeah, whatever it is, just please be careful. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Brand new Try to drink as much of it as possible before I got here. <laughs> um, do me a favor for your safety. Get your seatbelt for me. I'm already on it. Thank you. Okay. Can I help you? Wait, what that money at? You need to get out. What? Man, what the f you need? Stop paying me. Where that money at? I don't have any money. Stop paying me. Where is that right now? Get I don't you. have right cash. Now. It's a digital world, bro. Man, give me a wallet. I don't have it. Give me a wallet. Right now. Give it to me. Bro, stop it. You gonna shit me? Get the fuck out of here. You don't want to get shit. Come on, man. Give me that wallet, bro. No. Bro, stop playing before I hit you right here. Give me that wallet, bro. Thank God for you, man. I got on my camera, too. Oh, look at you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super grateful for you right now. Well, ex military. Yeah, I mean, that's insane. Show me his gun. Jesus. Mark, you're the man right now. Undeterred, the would be robber eventually left, allowing the driver to proceed with the journey, maintaining his composure throughout the unsettling encounter. On a scorching day in New York, Joseph's car sat idling, waiting for a well-dressed young man who had requested an Uber. This guy, still looking heated from a basketball game, had asked for a pickup near the basketball court. However, Joseph, with a bit of a laid-back attitude, stopped the car a few meters away, thinking it was close enough. The guy's irritation was pretty clear as he walked toward the car, eyebrows doing a frown dance. The passenger's annoyance tested Joseph's patience. Well, why don't you pull up down here? Huh? I'm outside playing basketball, brother. You see me move? Go. Wait, wait, wait. Don't drop don't, me off. Don't, don't, don't talk to me like that, my brother. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, but not. Shut up. Go, cuz. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. No. I'm not, I'm not gonna let you talk to me like that. Good. Request another one. Before you open this door, drop. The hot air got even tenser, and the guy got more and more annoyed. He pulled out his phone, dialed a number, and surprise, he turned out to be a mama's boy. Back, and not me. I, I don't deal with that. You with that. And I call the cops. Mom. Leo baby just pulled on his gun. No, no, no. Joseph couldn't help but hide a little grin as he watched the unexpected drama unfold. 
In the midst of Storm Dennis wreaking havoc, a taxi driver pressed on through flooded streets and challenging weather conditions during his night shift. Amid the tumult, he spotted a stranded car, only to realize it wasn't just any vehicle. It was a fellow driver, a woman stranded for nearly two hours. Do you need a phone or anything? Uh, can you tell me where I am? Uh, which road are you on? Sorry? Uh, do you know which road we are? This is a road between Shire Oak and Litchfield. Undeterred by the storm's fury, the compassionate taxi driver halted to offer a helping hand, ensuring the well-being of his stranded colleague. A routine Uber ride took an unexpected turn when the passenger discovered that the driver couldn't speak English fluently. The passenger seemed to grow increasingly agitated, prompting the driver to try and defuse the situation. Follow that sign! They mean I see those. Follow that sign! The driver encouraged the passenger to calm down explaining that the reaction was overly dramatic. To ensure they were headed to the correct destination, the driver repeated Terminal C multiple times. As the ride concluded, the driver mentioned having a 4.6 rating and expressed frustration over people resorting to extreme measures to avoid paying. I see, I see, I see, that was the indication that she did. If she was going to say, I'll go there. That was a drama. The incident highlights how a language barrier can escalate a seemingly routine situation into a dramatic one. A rideshare driver found himself in a troubling and frustrating situation when a passenger accused him of kidnapping. Despite the driver being completely stationary and offering a clear path for the passenger to exit the vehicle, she persisted in her accusations and continued to be overly dramatic. Kidnap me! You kidnapped me! Y'all wouldn't get out of my car! Who the f been trying to fight me and he's slamming my that door left and Get out of my car, I got it on video. I got it on video. Faced with an uncooperative passenger, the driver swiftly made a smart decision and exited his car to ensure his safety. I'm getting out of the car. You can stay here. You can stay out of the car. Go ahead, keep talking. Vandalize my car, do whatever you gotta do. Suddenly, the passenger's husband arrived on the scene, intensifying the tension in an already volatile situation. Outside a grocery store in Albuquerque, a woman was waiting for her Uber to arrive. When the Uber arrived, she couldn't fathom why the driver hadn't recognized her. Immediately, she asked the driver in a disrespectful tone. I said I couldn't tell with your mask on. Are you new to Albuquerque? You know what? This isn't going to work out. I'm not going to pick you up. The driver refused to pick her up and canceled the ride. In frustration, the woman rammed her shopping cart against the car. What's your, what's your problem? What is your problem? I need a ride home. Well, that's great, but I'm not going to pick up somebody that's rude. Hey! Fortunately, the driver had caught the incident on the dash cam and charged the woman for the damages, leaving her flustered and defeated. This is what happens when local roads are treated like private racetracks. A silver SUV was speeding in the middle lane, closely followed by a black and dark green Ford Mustang. Both vehicles were trying to maneuver a sweeping right-hand bend. On the interstate, the SUV started to have trouble veering towards the concrete barriers. At the same time, the Mustang driver slammed the brakes, realizing they were going too fast for the turn. The Mustang driver tried to overtake the SUV during the turn, resulting in a tragic crash into a barrier. The SUV driver also lost control and hit the same barrier. Oh. The Uber driver witnessed this incident that seemed right out of an action movie. It was another day on the job for Joe. He was navigating the stormy streets of St. John's. He noticed a traffic light hanging by a thread right above the intersection of Freshwater Road and Adams Avenue. The traffic light suddenly fell, and the car in front of Joe's car barely escaped the damage that could have been caused. 
as the car was just a few inches away. No direct look, the traffic lights. That's a good one. Oh, holy. It was a stroke of luck. One night, an Uber driver navigated the streets when he spotted a car up ahead, swerving dangerously. Rather than ignoring the situation, as many might, he took immediate action. Concerned for the safety of the driver and others, he promptly contacted the local law enforcement agency. 911, where's your emergency? Hey, I'm, I'm actually in Woodbridge. I want to report a, I believe he's a drunk driver. I mean, uh, this guy, his whole front of his car is completely smashed in, and he's still driving. He's driving on the opposite side of the road. He's weaving in and out of traffic. I see 19 and 9. Should, uh, give me a thumbs up. Should, should I leave or should I should I stay? Just hang out for a second. Just hang out for a second? Okay. Yep. Hey, how you doing, officer? Hey, listen, hey. we're not going to use your name, but just uh, in case this turns into a DWI or something, we just yeah. need to know who it was reported by. Providing crucial information about the intoxicated driver's location, he played a vital role in ensuring a swift response from the police, who rushed to intercept the potential danger. Witness this intense face-off between an Uber driver and a police officer. The officer initiates accusations, claiming the Uber driver invaded someone's privacy by recording inside the vehicle. Unyielding, the driver holds his ground, emphasizing that a clear warning about recording inside the vehicle had been posted it's still an invasion of privacy to do that. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not even lying. It's, it's not just, because it is. it's this is not. A, there's no expectation of privacy inside this. Uh, there is side. actually. There is. It's like there's. The, the, you know what? If you're gonna charge me for this Uber ride, are you gonna charge me for this Uber ride? Just take it. Nope. Please you're, get out of the vehicle. Are you, are you gonna charge me for the Uber ride? Please get out of the vehicle. Well, then will you cancel the Uber ride? The officer, discontented, begins probing the Uber driver about the fare. In response, the driver politely requests the officer to exit the car, putting an end to the unnecessary confrontation. In the quiet hours of the night, Jonathan Carroll, an Uber driver in Phoenix, responded to a ride request after 2 a.m. As the passenger entered the car, a disagreement ensued regarding the pickup location. The verbal exchange escalated into a heated argument, creating a tense atmosphere. That's the freeway, man. No, no. I saw it. <laughs> it's right here. You just don't know how to get there, that's all it is, man. It's, it's literally right it's here. That simple. Despite the rising hostility, Carroll maintained his composure and decided to decline service to the passenger. In response, the passenger in the back seat erupted into a fit of rage, throwing punches. Remarkably, Carroll remained calm, refusing to engage in a physical altercation. Fortunately, the entire tumultuous scene was captured on the dash cam ensuring that the passenger faced the consequences for his actions and justice prevailed. At 2 a.m., an Uber driver set out to pick up passengers near a quiet bar, unknowingly embarking on an unpredictable and chaotic journey. One of the passengers engaged in conversation with the driver, discussing everything from navigation quirks to spilled drinks. An unexpected twist unfolded. I'll stay there, it's fine. For real, let's go to her house. I probably got him to call another cab before I get there, then I will. Dude, you just got beer in my thing. I'll be like, if she doesn't want you to go to your house, you got beer in my, now I want to clean that up. Hold on. The passenger suddenly expressed a desire for a change in destination, introducing a challenging moment into the ride. Despite the unexpected turn, the Uber driver maintained professionalism and composure. At one point, there was even a suggestion to call another Uber for the passenger. No, 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 I'm not, I already, I already paid for your cab. No, I'm not, I'm not Uber. I'm just, I came over for a football game. I'm just checking to make sure people are all right. Yeah, would you guys I, just... Would you like Out of nowhere, a random car appeared, offering an unexpected alternative ride for the two passengers. An Uber driver was navigating a dimly lit road while using his phone. The situation took an unexpected turn when a 49-year-old woman suddenly emerged from the darkness, riding her bike. Unfortunately, the Uber collided with her. The autonomous Uber, equipped with advanced sensors and software, should have detected her presence and reacted swiftly. Regrettably, it failed, resulting in this tragic incident. While it's unlikely that even a human driver could have avoided entirely the collision, someone with exceptional reflexes might have been able to reduce the impact slightly. 
Eddie, an Uber driver, reached the upscale country club to pick up two passengers. The first passenger, well-dressed and courteous, took the back seat politely. His, 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 his sex name is Mike, I they what? Play, but, but it's a medium. I, I hope. However, the second passenger, emitting an unpleasant odor, displayed rude behavior. He carelessly shoved Eddie's shoulder and continued with more disrespectful actions. Yeah, yeah, right. get now. Yo, check right. this out. Okay. Get, get your yeah. foot off there. All right, call Uber. Guess what? We'll get out. Yeah, right. you can pop out. Eddie, fed up with the rudeness and drama, decided he had endured enough. He pulled over to a quiet spot, asking the unruly passenger to exit. I appreciate you, sir. Thank okay, you very no much. No problem, man. Thank you. All right. Maybe there was. The passenger stepped out, leaving Eddie relieved. An Uber driver picked up a passenger, completed the journey, and arrives at the destination specified in the app. However, the passenger claimed that it wasn't the intended location. He needed to go to the hospital. The driver explained that they had reached the destination, but the passenger, distressed about his friend's critical condition, admitted he might not have entered the correct address. This is the address you put in. My friend is a so I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. What's the name of the hospital? Area of In an act of compassion, the driver agreed to take the man to the hospital. In Poland, during a nighttime taxi ride, a driver was en route to his destination with two passengers. The situation took an alarming turn when one of the passengers insisted on sitting in the front seat, raising the driver's suspicion. Suddenly, the person in the back attempted to immobilize the driver with a chokehold. To the driver's shock, his companion swiftly seized something valuable, and both culprits promptly exited the car, leaving the driver in utter disbelief. On what seemed like a quiet day, Brian, an Uber driver in Seattle, accepted a pool ride request. As he headed to pick up the first passenger, another was added to the trip. The new passenger immediately demanded Brian to ignore the GPS and take him straight home. Well, but I got another passenger to pick up, No, just keep going. I'm taking you straight to my house. Oh, but, this I, faster. Oh, but, but, but I got another passenger. That's how it works. Like, You're just taking the long way. No, no, but I got another passenger to <coughs> pick up. That's how Brian, following Uber pool rules, explained that he had to pick up the next passenger. Despite his efforts to stay professional, the angry passenger insisted on a direct ride home. Which way to go, and it's faster if you just took the way I took You know what, can you just get a... Go out of my car, man. Open your door. <coughs> You're getting a bad reference. Yeah, okay, I'm showing this video to Uber, by the way. Brian, faced with constant demands, took decisive action and abruptly told the passenger to leave the car. A taxi driver picked two passengers, but he wasn't aware of their intentions. Before the driver could start the journey, the passenger in the back seat pulled out his weapon and started threatening the driver, demanding money and even his car. As the situation grew increasingly tense, the robbers had a sudden change of heart. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No need for that. I'm where? <laughs> no! Off you go! <laughs> Get me! Money! Yeah, greedy! Could that walk too quick, like? They left the car without causing any harm to the driver and taking the money. Edward Cabin, a 24-year-old Uber driver, responded to a pickup request from a passenger who had been celebrating Halloween with a few drinks in Newport Beach. Upon attempting to clarify the destination, the driver encountered difficulty understanding the passenger's alcohol-fueled confusion. Sensing the passenger's unsteady state, the driver took a precautionary measure by turning the camera around to document the unfolding events. As frustration escalated, the driver pulled over in a parking lot, insisting the passenger exit the vehicle. What ensued was a shocking confrontation, with the passenger launching a ferocious assault on the driver. Fists collided with the driver's face, and the passenger relentlessly pummeled the driver's head, gripping his hair. How are you doing? Yeah. Oh, you just need to go to... No, I'm kicking you out, man. You're, too, you're, you're too drunk to give me directions, man. No, I'm not. Then you lost shit.
In self-defense, the driver used pepper spray, shaken by the harrowing encounter. An Uber driver, after completing a long shift, arrived home around 4.30 a.m., looking forward to some rest. However, little did he know that his day was about to take a devastating turn. Unbeknownst to him, a man was captured on the dash cam, stealing the catalytic converter from his car. This incident occurred just hours after he had returned home from his late night shift. The next morning, at 10 a.m., when the driver entered his car, he was met with the shocking discovery that his catalytic converter had been stolen. The theft of the catalytic converter wasn't just a setback, it posed a crisis that could potentially leave him without a means to earn a living. A driver was taking a passenger to their destination when suddenly, the passenger started screaming loudly and making strange noises. The passenger seemed agitated, repeatedly touching the driver and insisting on turning around. The driver, uncomfortable with the situation, asked the passenger to leave the car. They eventually reached an agreement for the passenger to stop touching, and the ride continued. Ah! Hello. 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 However, the passenger persisted in screaming and touching, continuously apologizing. When the driver had enough, he stopped the car, opened the door, and asked the passenger to leave. After a prolonged period, the passenger finally complied and exited the vehicle. On a sunny afternoon, Marcus Whitman got an Uber request and decided to take it. When he arrived at the given address, he found an elderly man waiting on the curb. The man eagerly opened the door and asked for assistance with tasks that went beyond the usual duties of an Uber driver. Yeah, I can't touch the floor. The building is? No, sir, because this is only the second time I've been there. The first time was like a month ago. I do have a phone number you can call. Yeah, that would we be You want the fun. doctor? Marcus, showing kindness, willingly helped the man and even accompanied him to the hospital. While navigating the city streets, a Lyft driver was dedicated to offering his passengers a secure and pleasant journey. On a particular day, he picked up a woman whose concern revolved around something seemingly trivial yet crucial, his mask. The passenger's agitation grew, even as the driver attempted to ease the tension. Prioritizing safety, the driver made a crucial decision and pulled the car over, urging the disruptive passenger to disembark. In a surprising turn, the passenger had a change of heart and expressed a desire to rejoin the lift ride. Yo, the next person is gonna be 30 minutes away. I have a meeting that's already started. I need to get going. Yo, did you hear me? You know what? All right, I think you're there. Just don't talk to me, okay? All right, just don't talk to me. Demonstrating utmost respect and professionalism, the driver welcomed her back inside, emphasizing the importance of adhering to safety measures during the ride. At the stroke of 2 a.m., Mark, an Uber driver, found himself parked near Cool Beans by the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. The night draped everything in darkness, with only feeble glows from distant streetlights. Suddenly, Mark's phone beeped, signaling a fresh ride request. He eased to the curb, anticipating his passenger, but was met with an icy stare from a woman. Baffled by the mix-up, Mark hesitated, but eventually unlocked the doors. The woman wordlessly entered the vehicle, ignoring Mark's attempts to clarify that she wasn't the intended passenger. Unfazed, she insisted on being taken to her destination. Frustration mounting, Mark explained the need for the correct pickup details. In a burst of anger, the woman exited the car, her retreating footsteps echoing in the quiet night. Mark sighed in relief, glad to see the end of this unexpected encounter. Prepare to be amazed by this captivating video, shared by the driver himself, recounting a peculiar experience on a particular night. The camera unexpectedly saved footage without any apparent reason, revealing a mysterious occurrence. At 1 a.m., 
the driver ventured onto a deserted road. In the supposedly empty back seat, a clear outline of a woman emerged. The shadow disappeared momentarily, only to reappear. This woman bore distinct features, a face marked with sorrow, a twisted smile, and signs of injury. The haunting image hinted at a tragic end, possibly a result of a past traffic accident. In Ohio County, vigilant officers, prompted by suspicions and the driver's speeding, initiated a traffic stop. Thoroughly conducting their investigation, the officers decided to employ a K-9 unit to detect any potential illicit substances. The canine's keen sense of smell led to the discovery of drugs concealed in the trunk of the vehicle. 270 eastbound. No weapons on it, so. Go put all your property on the front seat here. Do you have any ID? Yeah, I have any phone. Okay, phone? Yeah, okay. is that actual ID? Yeah. Okay, it's just in your phone? Oh, okay, yeah, there it is. Right. Yep. Let's have you have a seat and we'll let you know what's going on here. All right? no, no, no. Whose car no, is this? Right. Whose vehicle? Okay. Right. Okay. Let's have a seat for me for a second. Step. Watch step. We'll get with you here. You want me to run it or you or hey. Hey. Consequently, the individual was charged in accordance with the law for the possession of illegal substances. At the stroke of 2 a.m., Mark, an Uber driver, found himself parked near Cool Beans by the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. The night draped everything in darkness, with only feeble glows from distant streetlights. Suddenly, Mark's phone beeped, signaling a fresh ride request. He eased to the curb, anticipating his passenger, but was met with an icy stare from a woman. Baffled by the mix-up, Mark hesitated, but eventually unlocked the doors. The woman wordlessly entered the vehicle, ignoring Mark's attempts to clarify that she wasn't the intended passenger. Unfazed, she insisted on being taken to her destination. Frustration mounting, Mark explained the need for the correct pickup details. In a burst of anger, the woman exited the car, her retreating footsteps echoing in the quiet night. 
Mark sighed in relief, glad to see the end of this unexpected encounter. Back in 2012 in Yorba Linda, California, a series of underground electrical vault explosions plunged the community into darkness, leaving them without power. Amidst the chaos, a vigilant police officer patrolling the streets captured a breathtaking moment on his dashboard camera. Just exploded. The footage revealed the intense explosion of an underground electrical vault, illuminating the night sky and underscoring the bravery of the first responders navigating through the unexpected turmoil. In Sterling Heights, law enforcement officers swiftly responded to reports of a suspect engaging in reckless behavior, prompting them to initiate a pursuit. The situation became even more perilous due to the combination of dim lighting and rain-soaked roads. In a surprising twist, the suspects suddenly abandoned their vehicle, opting to continue their escape on foot. The intense pursuit reached its conclusion when the suspect was finally apprehended. It starts as an ordinary day in Noonan, but everything takes a turn when a woman named Rose Becker initiates a high-speed police chase that rattles the city. The pursuit becomes particularly alarming as Becker races through a school zone during the student's departure. With speeds reaching up to 70 miles per hour, the police are in hot pursuit, attempting to halt this dramatic chase. Things escalate even further as speeds soar to a stunning 90 miles per hour, resembling a scene from an action movie. The climax unfolds when authorities finally catch up with Becker on Fisher Road. Collaborating seamlessly, the police officers surround her car and swiftly apprehend her. Upon searching her vehicle, they make a surprising discovery, possibly cocaine or marijuana, adding another layer of complexity to the entire situation. Prepare to be amazed by this captivating video, shared by the driver himself, recounting a peculiar experience on a particular night. The camera unexpectedly saved footage without any apparent reason, revealing a mysterious occurrence. At 1 a.m., the driver ventured onto a deserted road. In the supposedly empty back seat, a clear outline of a woman emerged. The shadow disappeared momentarily, only to reappear. This woman bore distinct features a face marked with sorrow, a twisted smile, and signs of injury. The haunting image hinted at a tragic end, possibly a result of a past traffic accident. While stationed, the trooper attentively observed a vehicle approaching from behind at an alarming speed, recording a radar reading of 72 miles per hour, attempting to signal the driver to slow down by flashing his spotlight. The trooper's efforts were met with defiance as the driver accelerated even further. Recognizing the urgency for intervention, the trooper engaged in the pursuit, only to witness the vehicle reaching speeds surpassing 100 miles per hour. Taking decisive action, the trooper activated emergency equipment in an effort to pull the vehicle over. The chase unfolded as the driver made a daring exit from I-630 East at Broadway, narrowly evading a potential collision. The high-speed pursuit eventually came to an end, with the driver choosing to exit the vehicle and surrender to the waiting police. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw, 
Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. In Columbus, Ohio, officers attempted to conduct a routine traffic stop, but the driver refused to comply and instead sped away, initiating a high-speed chase. Undeterred, the determined driver continued to flee, even with one of the car's tires flattened. <laughs> However, the pursuit reached its inevitable end when the compromised vehicle came to a halt. Subsequently, the driver was apprehended and taken into custody by the officers. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.